Welcome to the channel, folks. So today we have the newly updated and released Honeywell Home X2P, which is a programmable thermostat. I'm going to be covering four different topics on this thermostat, so I'm going to break it down into easy parts for everybody. I'm going to be doing, in this video, manual override, but I also have setup menu and the ISU numbers in a separate video, as well as programming the device for following a schedule as well as factory reset in a separate video. So four different parts for you guys. I will link the the different videos down below the video as well as in the upper upper right in the cards. So you click on that little, little balloon that has an eye and you can find all the rest of the related videos for this thermostat. So before I get into the manual override, I wanna do a quick explanation of how to operate this unit, the basic functions here what these buttons do and the primary function of these buttons are you're going to be have your mode which is this one here then you're going to have menu and then your fan and then up and down arrow to set your set point and then your hold button to hold it at a certain set point and we'll get into that into the video once we get further into the video so let's go over the two main ones i want to really go over which is mode and then the fan button. So mode will essentially give you either heating, cooling, or the off position. So that's a very self-explanatory um, button. Which one do you want to use? Okay, so you can just cycle through those by pressing it. We're going to leave it on heat, and then we're going to hit save. The fan button is sometimes people have questions about this, and they wonder what all these options mean. Okay, so Auto is what you want to be in. Auto is pretty much automatically going to function with heating or cooling and turn on and off as needed, depending if the unit is on, you know, heating or cooling as it should be. Okay, so you always want to leave it in auto. That's the setting you want. But the other options are circulate or circulation and then the on position. The on position means 24-7, seven days a week on. This thing will never turn off the fan it will just, the fan's always going to be on until you come here and change it, okay? Circulation mode is the fan is going to stay on 33% of the time. So 33% of the hour, it's going to cycle on and circulate the air in the home. So that's up to you if it's going to be useful or not. Um, I tend to use the on function sometimes just to circulate the air in the house if I want to spray some, you know, Febreze or um, air freshener. It helps actually circulate uh, the nice smell throughout the whole home uh, relatively quickly. So I do use that on function, but then I'll go within an hour or so, go back to the auto function. That is the, where you want to be when this thing is in, in normal operation, is that auto. But that there is the, the mode and the fan button. And now let's get into the hold button in the three different ways of manually overriding this device. So let's go over the manual override. This is a programmable thermostat, but what if you want to manually override the unit and just want to you know, change the set point temperature? So we have it in a kind of idle screen right here. And what you want to do is actually wake it up. Now you want to go ahead and adjust your set point, which is this number in the upper right. So you're going to use the up and down arrow to come up to the temperature that you want. We'll say we're going to bring it up to 70 as a set point. Now, as you see here, hold until next schedule. This is the most basic, the easiest way to manually override the unit and it does it automatically. As soon as you let off the button, you will see this prompt on the screen, hold until next schedule. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna hold until the next scheduled period of time. Um, that may be an hour from now, that might be 10 hours from now. We don't know, it depends on how this thing is programmed. So doing it in this fashion is the pretty much the easiest way to do it uh, and the first way of doing it, but there's actually two other ways. Let's cover the second one now, and that's going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be going, uh, going ahead and adjusting it to 72. We have the same prompt, and then we're going to hit hold. Now when you hit hold, you see that you have a couple options here. So you have the first one, which is the normal default, okay, and then you have hold permanently and then cancel hold. So we're going to go to that second option, hold permanently. So once we do that and we just, we, we can leave it alone, it'll go right into that mode. 
or you can press the menu button to save it. Okay, so pretty much right now, it's in a, a mode that will hold it indefinitely, okay? Until you come back and either take this off a hold, it's gonna stay in this, with this set point of 72 degrees here, okay? This here is your ambient temperature, the room temperature. This may, may take a while to come up to temperature, okay, if you're heating the room. It all depends on how, how uh, you know, efficient your heating system is, the size of your home. There's so many different factors. Um, just because you, you change this to 72 degrees of a set point does not mean that it's going to be 72 degrees in one hour. It may take 12 hours if you have a bigger home or a bigger room with tall ceilings, etc. So many different variables. But as you can see, it's permanently holding this right now. Okay, so that is the second way of doing it. But I'm going to show you how to cancel this. Canceling <clears throat> this permanent hold is very simple. You're going to go ahead and hit hold. And you're going to see you're going to have those options again. You're going to go, go ahead to the bottom where it says cancel hold. And we're just going to let it be. It's going to automatically cancel it. Or you can press that menu button if you want to save it and move on quickly. So as you can see now, we're back into the normal schedule program. It's following its normal schedule for each day and every weekend, whatever. So that's, that's the second way. Okay, there's actually a third way now that is a kind of a more permanent thing, which allows this programmable thermostat to be used as a manual style thermostat. So we're going to basically dumb it down to the point where it doesn't need all this functionality and you want to just bring it down, downgrade it to a manual, very basic thermostat, okay? And the way to do that is very simple. So we're going to go ahead into menu. It's going to say schedule. You're going to hit select and you see this right here where it says schedule on or off. We're going to go ahead and click off and then hit save up here with the upper right button, upper left, sorry, <laughs> upper left. It's saved and then we're going to hit exit. Okay, so as you can see here, a bunch of stuff disappeared from the screen. It's no longer following a schedule, okay? It does not indicate that. And now we have just the room temperature and the set point and the time. So as you see, as we go to adjust this, whoops, I just knocked the battery out. So as you can see, we only have very limited options now. We only have the ability to adjust this manually, and that's it. So we're going to come up to 72 degrees of a set point, and that's it. It's going to stay at 72 pretty much forever until I come here and change it myself. And as you can see here, the heat is turning on. So this is if you want to dumb down the thermostat into a manual, non-programmable type thermostat. You want to go ahead and shut off completely that schedule. That way you can just manually control it. Okay, you can come in here and just change it at any time of the day, whatever you want. And it will stay with, at that set point indefinitely. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. That is three ways of manually overriding the X2P programmable thermostat. And uh, check out the other videos for a manual override setup menu with an explanation of the ISU numbers and the different like setup options. Seven day programming of the device as well as factory reset. They're all linked down below the video and also in upper right in the cards. All right, I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.